So you're thinking about moving to Fairfax, Virginia, but you'd kind of like to know a little bit more about the area from a local's point of view before you decide to make that big move. Well, in today's video, that's exactly what we're going to be covering. We're actually gonna jump into my computer so that I can take you around on Google Maps, give you an idea of where Fairfax is in proximity to Washington, D.C., both local airports, metro, and we'll also dive into an overhead view of what Fairfax has to offer for shopping, dining, and entertainment. If that's something you're interested in, be sure to stick around because we're gonna get after it right now. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living, eating, sleeping, working, and playing in Northern Virginia, be sure to hit that subscribe button and tap that bell for notifications so you'll never miss a video. My name's Amanda and the team and I get calls every single day from people just like you looking to make their move to Northern Virginia and we absolutely love it. Whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, reach out to us on social, whatever works for you. We've got your back when you're making that move to Northern Virginia. So as I mentioned today, we're gonna to be touring you around Fairfax, Virginia. And I'm gonna use George Mason as our starting point because it's very centrally located within Fairfax. Fairfax is a very large area to cover. So we're just gonna use that as our centralized point to work from. And without further ado, let's talk about driving into Washington, D.C. If you're gonna be commuting from Fairfax, you're going to be looking at anywhere from 30-ish minutes up to over an hour. And it really just depends on what time you're commuting and then what traffic is doing that day. Certain days of the week are worse for commuting and weather obviously plays a role as well. So just depending on varying circumstances, anywhere from 30 to over an hour to get into DC. Fairfax, a plus is because it's centrally located, you have really easy access to both of our local airports. I'm gonna start out with Dulles. Commute time to Dulles is probably gonna be anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes. The good thing if you're headed out to Dulles Airport from Fairfax and driving or someone's driving you is you can jump on the Dulles Access Road to head to the airport. Not only does that avoid tolls for you, but it also is less traffic. So there's plenty of times where there's a lot of traffic on the toll road, but then the actual lanes just going to the airport are free and clear. You will want to allow a little bit of extra time once you actually get up towards the airport. You come around the curve and you can see, come around the curve and you can see um, the terminal. It does back up there, so just give yourself a little extra time. And big news in Northern Virginia, just a couple of months ago, Dulles Airport and Metro have come together and finally, after all of these years, there is Metro access and service to Dulles Airport, directly to the airport. That was huge news in our area. And the Metro station is connected to the terminal at Dulles via an underground path. And it's about five minutes from the station to the terminal. Let's also check out Reagan, um, which of course Metro access to directly to Reagan has been around for years. That's an option there as well. If you're looking to drive from Fairfax to Reagan, you're looking at about 30 minutes. I would say you're looking at about 30 to 50 minutes. Again, just depending on what traffic is doing. But if you are going to need to be catching flights frequently, Fairfax would certainly be a convenient location because you do have the option between both of our local airports. Let's also check in on Tyson's Corner. Um, of course, a big employment hub in the Northern Virginia area. And if you are commuting from Fairfax to Tyson, you're looking at anywhere, I would say, from 15 to 35, 40 minutes. Again, depending on traffic, uh, the good thing about coming from Fairfax to Tyson is you have a lot of options um, that aren't necessarily the main um, commuter routes. Right now, the best route is 123 to 66, which are main roads um, highly traveled in our area. But depending on what traffic is doing, you could also come in via Route 50 here or uh, Lee Highway and then pick up Gallows Road if 
for some reason there is really bad traffic on 66 or 495, which happens pretty frequently in our area, depending on what time you're commuting. Let's also talk about Metro in case you are not interested in driving at all. Fairfax does not have um, its own Metro station, but it is the Vienna Fairfax GMU station. So um, I'm gonna say that it pretty much counts as a Metro station in Fairfax, um, but it's just known as Vienna and Fairfax GMU. Let's take you here. You're looking at about 10 minutes, just depending on where you're coming from in Fairfax. If you say live right here in Mantua, well, your commute would probably be less than that. Um, just depends on where you're living, but there absolutely is easy access from Fairfax to Metro. And I'm also gonna touch on Dunmoring Metro Station, which is right off Gallows Road. Oops, that's not the station. Dunmoring Metro, um, it's going to depend again on where you are in Fairfax, um, whether the Vienna GMU station is best or if Dunmoring is best and anywhere I would say from five to 20 minutes, again, just depending on where you're coming from. The other thing about Fairfax is the Metro buses are very well connected and easily accessible in Fairfax. So this is just strictly speaking on the station, but definitely if Metro is going to be your means of transportation, you won't have any issue in Fairfax because there is a very complete uh, Metro bus network and lots of bus stops. I would say about 90% of the neighborhoods in Fairfax, you can get just a couple minute walk to get to a bus stop. All right, let's get into some of the shopping and dining and entertainment as well. We are gonna head to Fairfax Corner, which is a very popular shopping area um, and dining area in Fairfax, Virginia. And I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more so that we can start out by showing you that the movie theater here, get my marker out. You have the movie theater at Fairfax Corner if you're looking to catch the latest release. And if you wanna grab dinner before or after that, you have so many options. You have Uncle Julio's, Postal Flat, P.F. Chang's, um, not shown on here is also Ozzy's, um, Ruth Chris. If you're just looking to grab a cup of coffee, you have Pete's Coffee here. And then if you're looking to get some shopping in, also in Fairfax Corner is uh, the Good Feet Store, Ar Arhas Furniture, Chico's. You want to get some ice cream, there's Ben and Jerry's. Uh, plenty of options for shopping as well within Fairfax Corner. Parking is very easy. Even if the surface spots are filled up, there's a garage and it's just a couple minute walk to the shops or the restaurants. And just a stone throw from Fairfax Corner is more shopping, dining, and entertainment, which is Fair Oaks Mall. And I have been going to Fair Oaks Mall all of my life, so well over 30 years. Fair Oaks Mall was built in 1980 and it's really stood the test of time. They've done a phenomenal job of keeping the mall relevant. And there are plenty of obviously stores to shop in, but what I really want to point out about Fair Oaks Mall is you also have Dave and Buster's here. Um, great, obviously, if you're adults, then it caters to that too, but somewhere to take the kids so they can blow some steam off. Dave and Buster's is a great option. There aren't a ton in our area. That's a nice feature that's at the mall. And then as you can see, plenty of dining options. You've got your Cheesecake Factory, you've got Texas Day Brazil. Um, there's also Sushi On, which is a very popular sushi restaurant in the area. And you've got Dick's Sporting Goods if you're looking to get something for a new hobby or something for sports in general. Plenty of options. Um, Fair Oaks Mall has over one point five million square feet of retail space. So if you can't find what you're looking for there, then it might be difficult to find in general. The other thing that's at Fair Oaks Mall, which I don't see it here on the map, is Golf Galaxy. Fun place to check out if you enjoy golf. Let's head back to George Mason. We can't talk about Fairfax and not mention Eagle Bank Arena. 
And this is a great place. There's always concerts going on, performing arts. Um, if you are wanting to avoid going, say, into D.C., um, to Capital One Arena, and you want to do something local, whether it's taken a small sporting event or some type of show or concert, check out Eagle Bank Arena. There's always something going on there, and they really have a great variety that would appeal to really anyone, just depending on what's going on. If you don't like what's happening this weekend, check back next weekend or the weekend after, and they do a great job of offering different types of events. Coming off of shopping, dining, and entertainment, let's talk about Royal Lake. Um, we visit Royal Lake in our vlog, so if you haven't checked that out, be sure to do so. It's unique for the Fairfax area. There aren't a ton of lakes in Fairfax, and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here. Royal Lake is a great place to go if you're looking for an easy walk, but it also caters to someone looking to get a workout in. They have a um, fitness circuit around the lake if you want to be walking and stopping and doing exercises. That's a good place to go. People are always out walking their dogs or out as a family taking a walk, getting a run in. You do occasionally see um, non-motorized crafts out on the lake. So if you have like a kayak or something like that, that's certainly a place that you can put it in. It just has to be non-motorized. Also, I want to show you Army Navy Country Club. Army Navy Country Club is uh, opened in 1924. So it really is a staple to the Fairfax area. And it is a private uh, members only club. But if you enjoy golf and are looking to join a country club, be sure to check out Army Navy. Their golf course is beautifully maintained and it really is nice if you're interested in going and taking around a golf in or if you have, uh, if you want to join and obviously have friends that you want to bring to dinner, um, they offer that as well. Let's check out a little bit more about shops and dining. Um, I don't want to go too far down this rabbit hole because Fairfax, I cannot stress enough, has so many options for shopping, dining, and daily needs that I'm not gonna jump into all of them, but I do wanna take you um, up the Route 29 corridor, uh, Route 50 area, just to give you an idea of what else is out there in terms of your options, if you're interested in shopping, dining, daily needs. Um, we are gonna start with the Crazy Crab here. That's where I put in for the directions. The Crazy Crab is a fun place to go and their food is delicious. Very laid back, um, but great if you wanna check them out. You have your Amazon Fresh marker. There you go. You have your Amazon Fresh if you need to do some grocery shopping. Hangry Joe's Chicken, they've really been making a push into the Northern Virginia area and I have not tried this location, uh, but I have tried one on Duke Street and it's delicious if you like Nashville hot chicken. Got your McDonald's, can't not have your McDonald's. Um, you've got a wine bar here, India Bazaar, Guitar Center. You have your Walmart if you need to go pick some things up. And I'm going to scroll a little bit to head further west. Um, going west is we're heading towards where we were in Fairfax Corner, just to give you an idea of the boundaries. But heading out on 29 and 50, you have an H Mart, you have multiple car dealerships, you have Lowe's. It's not showing on here, um, it's further east, but there's also a Home Depot, depending on which one you like. And then we're gonna come down here, you have churches. If you're looking to get involved with a church, you have plenty of options there. I need to go further west because I can't show you Fairfax without showing you Wegmans, but I think it's further west here. Here we are, you've got your Wegmans. Um, Wegmans is also a really popular grocery store chain in our area. They're expanding, but there still aren't a ton of them. So Wegmans in Fairfax is always busy. I really could go on and on. Fairfax is a great place to consider on your short list if you are looking to be a little bit further out of the city, not as much hustle and bustle as say Arlington, you want some grass um, and to be able to move about. Fairfax is a great option to consider. They have all the shopping, dining, 
that you could think of or need. They also have entertainment options, so you wouldn't always have to be driving into the city. And they offer various types of housing. You will find condos in Fairfax, you will find townhomes, you will find townhouse style condos, and you will find single family homes. So they really do have something for everyone. As always, whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We'll be happy to help you make that smooth move to Northern Virginia. And until next time, we hope to show you around town.